guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about SP underscore auto status in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So about this one, so it displays or changes the automatically statics update option. And here auto update statistics for an index statistics object or table or index view. So add here, this is the things or query that I already written to save some time. So at the first point is display the first is display the status of all statistics on our table. So for this we need to use at here exec sp underscore auto status. So if you take the cursor on auto status, so this is the description store procedure Adam. So this is the store procedure auto status. Now here that to uh, take anywhere care and flag where care 10. Now if you execute to this query, so it will return at here index name auto status. So here there are two auto status first is on or off. And here this is a displaying last update here. So at here this is the states. So you can find the states after clicking or uh, like uh, emp table here after you go states now here so there are fuse or uh, system generated states and this is a created by user by me now first i'm going to create one states so add here new states and here giving the or uh, test okay and you have to click on add so add here i'm adding or uh, select column to add the statistics EMP number going to add. Now here after click on OK. So there is a one or a statistics here. It's a added with the name test. So if you want to check the properties here you can find this is the properties here. Now if you execute to or this one. So there you can find one index name test. It's created here. Auto states on and here this is the date 17-3-2019 and here this is the times 11-20. Now here after if you do some modification. So let's do some modification add here. Go to properties and here go to add. So let's add something here. So we are going to add in and now click on OK. Now if you are going to execute this one. So this is the oh, add here. Okay, let's uh, so the timing is 173 2019 11 20 37 was the last update date. So this time the 11 28 32 is the last update date. So like this, if you are going to do some modification on a state EMP, I like I'm going to remove MCR. So uh, a state EMP, so this is the created by user now here. Yeah. A state EMP lost to created date 173 2019 and here 1649 is the time. Now if you execute, so see at here 1121 is the last update day, it's a time. Now here after the next thing is so this is the system or uh, created system defined a statistics name. So if you are going to do some add, so let's add something. Now click on OK. I'm getting the event masters, so we cannot to do or uh, here after let's add something some more here. Now click on OK. So I cannot access property or method Microsoft this one. So this is the system generated things you cannot do any modification. Now here after so there are two property of any estates. So by default it's uh, on. Now if you want to do some modification to make it uh, off. So for this disable auto update statics for a specific index. So exec here after sp underscore auto status here emp is the table and here going to auto state off. So going to make this one off. Execute that. So command completed successfully. Now execute this query again. So see at here. Now uh, auto states it's now this one off. Now here after if you want to make uh, so if you want to make uh, all all the auto states off so you can do that. 
So no need to give add your states directly. You can execute. So here command completed successfully. Now hereafter it's on off. Now hereafter if you not do make on. So here execute this query. So see here add your command completed. Here check that. So it's all on now. So this is the things about to auto states in Microsoft SQL Server. So it is used to change or display or changes automatic statics update option. If there is any changes on statics, so it will also the last updated at here. It will show the auto states on or off situation. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.